Hello, welcome to China Mosaic. I'm Wang Xiaohui for China.org.cn. The incursion by Indian troops into Chinese territory in June has provoked a confrontation across the border between the two countries. The standoff has lasted over a month with no signs of ending. The Chinese government has, on one hand, issued stern warnings, while on the other hand, exercised maximum restraint. It expects India to view the entire situation with a sober mind and retreat from the territory over which it does not have sovereignty in order to avoid escalation of tensions and repetition of the incidents of 1962. China has adopted a policy of patience and restraint, not because it fears confrontation, but because it has realized through its reform and opening up that peaceful development is the best option for the rise of a major nation. However, the mentality of our Indian counterparts appears to be different. Having failed to move out of the shadow of the Sino-Indian border conflict of 1962, when India was defeated. The defeat, in fact, was also caused by India's invasion into Chinese territory. The economy of India has gathered pace since the 1990s. As one of the largest emerging economies in the world, it has become a member of the BRICS. In recent times, the trade between China and India has surged at unprecedented speed. Unfortunately, in the context of this rare opportunity for peaceful development, Indian politicians have made the wrong decisions. Catering to a great power and getting together several other countries cannot contain China's growth or even retrieve the face lost in the Sino-Indian border conflict of 1962. Rather, India is gambling with its future and the national well-being for an extremely dangerous and worthless state. Indian Prime Minister and Foreign Minister have publicly supported the resolving of the border dispute through dialogue and the diplomatic means. But India is merely paying lip service. It is illogical for a country to invade another country's territory while still holding high the banner of peace. China has demonstrated the utmost patience, but this patience has its limits. With the not-so-old lessons from 55 years ago, the Indian government should use its political wisdom against a narrow-minded bias and withdraw its troops from Chinese territory to solve the problem with a sincere attitude. Thank you for watching.